right, this is the four cone drill. And basically the four cone drill means you're going to have four separate turns. Now, you're gonna take this and make nice circles around each. Now, that is not a nice circle. There you go, I want you to make sure you go straight. There you go, look straight. All right, now go to the next cone and opposite direction, switch your legs. There you go. Now start your turn, outside leg, there you go. One more turn around the cone. One more turn. There you go, now switch. Now make sure you do have some sort of a straight line. This is a real good exercise. Oop, now keep going around that turn. If your turn isn't pretty, keep going one more time. Okay, move to the next cone. Well, that wasn't a pretty turn. Go back to it. One more cone, outside leg, more than outside leg. Squeeze and release with the outside leg. Squeeze and the release, there you go. <laughs> you squeeze too much. Now remember, the way that your feet are gonna settle is going to depend on your horse. But right now, she's making a turn to the right. So her right foot is going to be in position number one and her left foot is going to be in position number three. All right, now she's gonna switch. Right foot goes to button number three. Left foot opens the door. There you go, and in position one. Now if the horse starts to fall in with their shoulder, then you bump position one. Quit pulling back, pull out, okay? If he's coming back to you too much, that's because your direct rein, there you go, see the difference? You want to make more of a direct rein towards the cone. Instead of pulling back, you pull a little out to get the turn that you want, and then you move it back to your hands being nice and soft. There you go, now put your hand back, there you go. What you're doing is you're working your way to that. There you go, now release, nice. Now make sure you come out a little bit from that circle. See, you cut that one in just a little bit. There you go. Work on that, that's not very, that's not round, make it round. There you go, that's not round either. So walk until you make it a nice round circle. What we're working here is small consistent circles back and forth. The cones just give you a nice little guide. There you go, keep walking forward. <laughs> keep going on that circle. Not happy with that yet. You actually are gonna go until you get a circle that you're happy with. Oh, there we go, now we're looking good. Now we're looking good, go to the next one. There you go, now switch. There you go, I like that, that was a good switch. Outside leg, outside leg. See, that's, <laughs> that was improved. That was a lot more improved. There you go. Now work back. Ah, 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 you got a little too high. Outside leg, outside leg, outside leg. Okay, nope, don't turn all the way around. No, go up to that cone, go around it like three more times. There you go. Go back to the cone and go three more times. If you didn't get it, keep going. That's one, one more time. There you go. There you go. Come on, don't let him go with the outside. Ah, 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 ah. Outside leg, outside leg. So you have to push with the outside when that happens. Keep going. Don't stop on this one. Got to make the correction. Outside leg, outside leg, outside leg. Nope, keep going around, keep going around. Again. Now you've got to sit up straight. There. And go to the next one. See the difference? Okay. There you go. Sit up straight. Now add leg. Add leg. Don't let him do that. Now he's just turning into it. Now keep going around that until you get a nice easy circle. And then release. Keep going. Keep going. Go around. Get another circle. Keep going. There. Do you see the difference? So the moral of this story is you keep going around until you get a nice pretty circle. At Fatty swung out his hindquarters. We want a nice pretty circle, a nice pretty turn. This is also a good exercise to do with your barrel horse if you're working on getting those nice pretty turns and lifting up that forehand. This is a good exercise, but it's really good for anybody trying to work on both their horse and themselves and make sure you have your leg on your horse correctly.
and that you are capable of making easy turns. Now remember, we're using a direct rein, but this is a good exercise. You, you bump with that outside rein a little bit, and that's gonna start giving you the idea of what it's gonna be like when, ah, 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 don't do that, don't let him do that. Correct, correct, correct. Move forward, move forward, and correct that circle. Do not let them go out. Correct, 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 correct. Come on, push, push, push. Again, it's this particular cone that he likes to do this. Now watch what you do and sit in the middle. You're kind of out off the, there you go. Keep him going, keep him going. Correction, come on. Loosen up on your reins a little bit and make him walk forward. There you go, good. Just walk that circle again. Sit in the center, you're kind of off. There you go. Nope, outside leg, outside leg, outside leg. Bump with that outside rein too. Bump, bump, bump. What you doing? Keep going. We gotta make that correction. That means go around that circle as many times and as soon as we get a good turn on that circle, we're gonna stop, okay? Keep going, keep going, keep going, come on. Outside leg, outside leg, push him forward, push him forward, come on. <laughs> he has just decided this is not gonna be the one that he wants to go this direction on. There you go. Come on. Nope, that wasn't it. That was better. Give me one more and don't let him think about it. Just, there you go, there you go, there you go. Good, good. Now move on to the next one. Give him a big praise. Good, good, good. Okay, that was nice. And stop. Ooh. All right, so that exercise took us a little while to get to where we wanted to go. But as you can see, it really does work and you get a really nice circle eventually. All right, thank you for watching today's video. And if you enjoyed the video, please give us a like. And if you haven't already, please subscribe.